now, and we can see in the system map that the, the chamber has been coupled down. We are actually at quite a low pressure, 2 times 10 to the minus 7 torr. So we are ready to start a deposition recipe. So we go into the auto menu, and we go to the auto select pane, and we, we select our recipe. We're going to run titanium. So we open that, and now we are able to activate the recipe by pressing the recipe button. And then we press start. And because we have already saved the data log uh, configuration, we can start the recipe immediately. And then we can go back to the system map and see what happens and follow the process. So at the top of the screen, in the auto status, you can see what the system is doing. And right now it's downloading the recipe. So now the, the system is moving the right pocket so that we will uh, into position so that we will be able to deposit the right material. And you can see that the, the hula has become green, which means that it's now rotating. And the system has moved the shield up to protect the junction between the main chamber and the top part of the chamber. And we can see that the source is active. Um, and we are already now starting to um, put some power on the source. Um, you can see over in this part of the system map, you can follow what's going on and you can see the power that's being applied. And you can also see that we are in what's called rise one of the process. So when we, when we start the deposition, we first we increase the, the power gradually uh, so that we can increase the temperature of the material gradually. So we have a rise and a soak to increase the temperature somewhat. And then after soak one, we will have another rise and another soak where we are closer to the evaporation temperature so that we get the evaporation started before we open the shutter. You can see that right now the shutter is closed. And already during the rising and soaking, it's a good idea to have a look at what's happening to the pressure. You can see right now we have a wonderfully low pressure. Um, and this is uh, also related to the fact that we're depositing titanium because titanium generally makes the pressure fall. But some other materials may do the opposite. The, the pressure will rise and you need to keep an eye that it doesn't rise too high. So now we are getting very close to the deposition starting as the soaking is finishing. And then we can see in the, in the graphics that now the deposition is happening. Again, have a look at the pressure. Make sure it's not rising too much and too fast. Um, you can also see what's happening to the deposition rates. And you see that both up here on the right, but also in the window uh, for the crystal controller, where you can also see the deviation of the rate from what you set. So you can see that we started out with a slightly too high deposition rate. And now the machine is adjusting the power. It's, it's lowering the power a bit so that we get a deposition at the rate that we asked for originally. You can also see how thick the actual film is. And you can again, you can see that both here in the, in the crystal controller and also in the deposition control window in the top right part of the system map. And apart from checking the pressure, you should also check, of course, that the source looks right. You should actually look inside the chamber and see if it looks the way you expect it to look. Uh, and do that at the beginning of your deposition. And if you're doing a long deposition of more than 100 nanometers, please look uh, approximately every 100 nanometers of deposition. Be careful of your eyes when you're looking at the, at the source, because some materials like titanium become extremely bright. So on this uh, window here on the side, there's a polarization filter which you can turn 
and that will already filter out some of the light. But for something like titanium, when you open the shutter, which you do by turning this little button, you should also use the goggles when you look inside. You can also just hold them to the glass. And you're basically looking to see that the E-beam is hitting the target and not uh, outside. So now um, the, the source is powering down and then afterwards there will be some cooling time where uh, the, the wafers have a chance to cool off a little bit because then in most of our recipes, in all the standard recipes, the, the load lock will vent automatically after the deposition. Yes, so now that we're venting the chamber, we see that the pressure is rising on the, the high pressure pressure gauge on the outside of the chamber. So once the system is vented after the deposition, you can just open the load lock, take out your samples, and remember to pump down the system once you're done. Close it up again, of course, and pump, uh, start pumping in the auto menu. And also, please remember to fill out the, the process log and to log up.